Welcome back. If you have plans to take the boat out on the Hillsboro River soon, you might notice something new in the water. The city of Tampa installed two new buoys today, but these are not your average buoys. New tonight, ABC Action News reporter Jada Williams explains how they're keeping algae below the surface. A buoy with a facelift. Monday morning, crews with the city of Tampa loaded two buoys equipped with technology to reduce blue-green algae onto boats anchoring them in the Hillsborough River. It's done with ultrasonic. It uh, helps prevent the algae from coming to the surface and getting the sunlight it needs and, and causing it to proliferate. So this is going to reduce that. Each buoy is capable of producing sound waves within a 500 feet radius to help maintain algae growth, common this time of year. Although new to Tampa, the buoys aren't a new piece of technology. Barry Rosen, a professor in the Water School of Florida Gulf Coast University, explains. I hear from colleagues that it, it does work in smaller confined areas where the ultrasound can interfere with the gas vesicles and keep blue-green algae, cyanobacteria, in the lower part of the water column. But Rosen says it could be tough to control the entire Hillsborough River. If it's a moving water body like the Hillsborough River, it's a little bit more problematic because um, those organisms can escape the influence. Funded by an FDEP grant, the buoys are part of a two-year pilot program. The city will test the two locations, collecting data, samples, and comparing the sound wave method to the previous method. It's a uh, non-invasive way of, of uh, controlling the algae rather than applying uh, an algicide through the, through the uh, river. And typically that we're, we're going out and there are boats and applying it sometimes on a day or, or every other day uh, basis. Hoping to open the door to a new way to prevent algal blooms, one that protects what lies beneath the water. In Tampa, Jada Williams, ABC Action News.